I still want to look the right balance between smart, appropriate, but also quite, not trendy, but quite of the moment. A couple of things I do. When I first get up, I look at the weather to figure out what the day is going to look like. I figure out whether I'm traveling extensively or not, and whether my outfit is going to make it through the commute. I do a lot of keynote speaker events, but the first one I went to, I was wearing quite a tight-fitting jersey dress, and I went to see you know, the microphone guy, and I hadn't thought about this, and he gave me the rigging, and there was literally absolutely nowhere to put the pack on. So I had to tuck the pack down the top of my dress, down my back, and tuck it in my tights. So for example, if you're wearing jeans on a Friday, and you have an impromptu smart visit, you would feel very inappropriately dressed. But alternatively, it doesn't matter if someone's wearing jeans, if they're quite smart in their jeans as well. So it's not that jeans are banned, it's just how you wear them really. And I was feeling quite sharp and tough in my management. I was trying very hard to be a good manager. And actually the message was really, you don't have to try that hard and soften some of the edges because it will make you more approachable as a leader. In fact, when I went from a blue chip to a startup, a couple of people did say to me, oh, it's quite intimidating how you dress. But I think it's really important for people to feel authentic. You know, if you really were comfortable in whatever suiting or power dress or power suit that you wanted to put on, then you wouldn't have to think about that. You'd be thinking about how you're presenting yourself. And I have to say, from a personal perspective, if I look good, I certainly feel good. That's kind of what I mean by the whole thing. You feel ready for the situation you're putting yourself in.